recently I um, I watched this video on YouTube. It, I think it's been out for a while, but it's called Making the Bus Monitor Cry. Um, you know, normally I'm not the person that um, that shows my emotions uh, very often. You know, I try and keep control of the way I feel and um, and uh, you know, I just don't go around crying at every little thing I see that's sad, you know. But this video, it really, it really brought something out of me. You know, it, it made me stop and look at um, at what humans are truly capable of, the um, evil that humans are capable of. But um, at the same time, it also showed me that humans are capable of great integrity and um, and, uh, and just great character. But um, if you haven't seen this video, it's this. La there's an old lady, and she's a bus monitor, which I really didn't know what the heck a bus monitor was until you know this video. And I was like, well, it's probably you know some like like kind of like a babysitter, you know, that watches the kids on the bus. But this woman, she was just sitting, minding her own business, doing her job. And I uh, I don't know if there was two kids or if it was just one. I you know I I, uh, I don't really remember. I I think there was multiple kids, but you know they they were sitting behind her and they were calling her vulgar names names that no one should be called and no one should be calling anyone you know but but you know this lady at times that I would have turned around and just felt like whopping them upside the head she just kept her eyes forward kept her mind in a semi good place and um and just waited out the storm and that's something I think most people could learn to do every once in a while. Um, these kids, they they threaten to do multiple very, very bad things to her. One of which that's not near as badly. I, I'd rather not say this, the bad stuff that she said, that they said. But they said that they would take a crap on her porch and they would set it on fire. And that um, they told her to pull the Twinkie out of her butt and they were calling her fat. They probably called her fat ten times throughout the entire video. And this lady was strong. She, um, she had this purse that she carried with her all the time. And it had words all over it that were, um, inspiring words to live by. You know, hope, love, faith, um, you know, just all these great words that, that are inspiring. And she would read the. She read her purse while they were doing this to her. And, and, you know, she made it. And after the fact, after this all came out, she said that she didn't want to take any legal action against these kids. You know, that's a true act of, um, of strength and integrity, when these kids had none. I don't know if it, if there's something in their home or if it's just something in their head, that made them do this. That that has perversed their minds but it's a really sad thing and um, you know I hope maybe sometime they will they will see what they did and understand that it was wrong and they should definitely apologize <sighs> but um, one good thing did come out of this um, there was a man um, I'm not sure what his name was but he he started this fund for her where people could donate money and at first they were just expecting like five thousand dollars I believe they were hoping to raise that much to send her on a vacation and um, from the time that I watched the video and looked at some of the news uh, around it um, they'd raised over sixty thousand dollars I hope I'm not overshooting that by a lot I hope it wasn't just six thousand I think it was sixty thousand maybe it was in the hundred thousands I, I really I should have checked that out before I made this video but you know they've raised a ton of money for this woman Enough that she wouldn't have to work for probably seven years at most. Or at least, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But, you know. Well, if you haven't seen this video, go watch it. Um, take, Do whatever you can to take action. Um, email these per these kids' parents if you can. I, I, I know there's resources to, to get that information out there. Um, just thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you around.